If you're buying a used car, this easy to use paint thickness gauge can give you valuable information about the condition of a car's body and exterior and also its history. Let's get into it. So this is the package that the device comes shipped in. And if we open it up, we've got the device itself, a pair of AAA alkaline batteries, user guide and user manual instructions. And last but not least, we have these strips, aluminum strip, steel strip, and several thicknesses of clear plastic strip. And these are used to calibrate the device which I'll get to in a moment. The device comes in this nylon holster with a belt loop on the back so it can be securely worn around the waist with the use of a belt. The battery compartment is on the back of the device. So just open up the compartment and install the two included AAA batteries. So to use the device, we turn it on with the power button here by pressing. Simple press on, press it again to turn it off. When you turn it on, it goes through a quick boot up sequence and it is ready to use when you see these, these dash marks on the screen. Here you have your battery level indicator and your surface substrate material. Now there's several modes of operation. First of all, you have the unit of measurement. By default, when you turn it on, it turns to microns, which is indicated here. If you press the middle button, it goes from microns to mils. And you can see as I go back, it cycle toggles back and forth between microns and mils. Mils is, one mil is equivalent to one thousandth of an inch. So this would be thousandths of an inch in mils. Okay, next you have a mode button and a reset button. By default, the device is on in single mode, single measurement mode, which I'll get to in a minute. And then if you press the mode button, it goes to continuous measure mode, which is not actually used that much, but I'll get to that in a minute as well. If you hold the button down for three seconds or so, it will reset itself or reset all the parameters. When you first turn this device on, and also when you reset it, it is very accurate from the factory. It is possible also to calibrate it, and the instructions will give you the procedure to calibrate it. Once again, this device is very accurate right out of the box, and if you even need, ever need to reset it, you do so with this button. This is your calibration button if you need to ever reset it. And again, the instructions will show a method to do that. So now we're in single mode, which again is the most common way that you're gonna use it. And then you, you can see how the plastic body of this device is contoured here and here. So it's made to hold like this. And you have a probe on the bottom which is spring-loaded so to take a measurement you simply put that down on the surface like that to use this in single mode we simply hold the device and place it on the surface move it to another location and you can see the number keeps changing so right now it's in mils which again is thousandths of an inch and this is how we'd use it in single measurement mode and so, for example, this measurement here, that's 218 thousandths of an inch, or 2.18 mils, mils, which is the thickness. Right now we're getting 2.01 mils, or 201 thousandths of an inch. Let's go back here and press the mode button to go to continuous mode. Just for reference, continuous mode, you would put the device down on the surface and just glide it along. And you can see how the number is changing as I move it, because the thickness of the coating or the paint on this vehicle is constantly changing slightly. In most cases, you're going to use the single measurement mode. Again, that works like this. So to give you a better idea of how this works, let's take a measurement in this location right here. 2.18 mils or 218 thousandths of an inch. Let's do it again. Just to confirm, it changed slightly, but not much. So now it's 2.02 .02 mils. Now I'm gonna add a piece of paper and measure in the same exact location. And you can see how that jumped up to 6.61 .61 mils or 661 thousandths of an inch. So what this device is doing right now, it's measuring the thickness of this painted surface plus the thickness of the paper. 
Now if I take this paper and fold it over again, you can see how that just jumped up 9.92 mils or 992 thousandths of an inch. So by using this device, <clears throat> you can measure in different locations on a car's body and that would tell you or give you a very good indication if this car has been repainted and refinished or if it has had any uh, damage repaired due to an accident. For additional reference, and so you can see how this works a little bit better, if I take a measurement on the included steel substrate, you'll see that measures zero. You get a reading of zero. That's because this is bare steel with no coating applied to it at all. If I take a sheet of paper and measure again, you'll see we get 59.4 mils or 50, 594 thousandths of an inch. So now we're measuring the thickness of the paper. If I take one of the included uh, plastic strips, for example, this one, this one says that it's 19.7 mils. So I'm going to put that right there. And as we see, as you can see, we get a reading that's very close to what's printed on the on the plastic strip, 19.63 mils or 196 thousandths of an inch. Let's try that again with another one. So this one here is 9.84 mils. So I'm going to place that on our bare, bare steel substrate and take another measurement. And there we go, 9.75, very close to what's printed on here. So that gives you a better idea of how this thing works and how accurate it is. Well, that wraps up the demonstration of this VVV Group paint thickness gauge, which is a really handy device in inspecting the finish on a car or measuring the coating thickness on just about any other object with a coated metal surface.